What's up? This is Damon from StockPromer.com and DamonVario.com. I'm going to be talking about a trading forex strategy that works today. Um, I want to point out first of all that I don't actively trade forex. I don't even have a forex account. Uh, I've stated this many times. I don't want to trade anything that can be equated to a zero sum game. Like playing poker, yes, you can make money at forex. But in the end, the money you're getting is from someone else. There's no uh, real value in what you're buying. You're just trading one currency for another type of currency. However, um, a lot of people have asked me about how to trade Forex. So I'm going to give you a few ideas. One of the reasons some people have asked me about Forex is because lots of Forex traders use candlesticks to trade. And I am a candlestick guy. I trade stock options and sometimes stocks based on the candlestick patterns. Now, what I did for these uh, question askers was I actually dug through a bunch of academic journals looking at success, successful Forex trading strategies. And I found a really simple one, and I've been testing it out for a while, and it does seem to work over the long run. So I'm going to show that to you today. It doesn't really have, it doesn't, I, it doesn't have anything to do with candlesticks. Today's Trading strategy is simply based on something called a moving average, which calculates an average that will change per minute, basically. Um, you can set the time for a moving average for whatever you want. Now, what I looked at was a study that showed a very simple and successful trading strategy that basically only used moving averages to predict when to buy or sell a currency pair. The study I looked at looked at a handful of currency pairs and the moving averages at 4 hours and 12 hours. It was more of a day trading strategy than anything. Um, what you do is you set the moving averages for 4 hours and 12 hours on your chart, which you're seeing right now. This is a tick mill. This is a demo account. I'm not trading with real money. But actually what you see down here, let me move the mouse over here, you see down here is the profit made or lost. So if I was trading with real currency, I would have, you know, lost 24 bucks on one trade at the moment. See, the number's always changing. Made about 900 on another and then lost a couple bucks on the other one. Okay. So let's get into how this actually works. The first thing you're going to want to do is when you get into whatever trading software you are using for looking at currency pairs, what we're looking at right now is USD versus the Japanese yen. Um, I also traded on the British pound versus Japanese yen and the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. Um, what you're doing here is you're setting a line, an indicator called the moving average. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure the moving average is of four hours. You can see here it says moving average 720, that's 720 minutes. Moving average uh, 240, that's 240 minutes. So that's the 4 hour one, and the one above is the uh, 12 hour one. Once you've set these lines, what you're looking to do, according to the study I read, is you're waiting for the lines to cross. When they intersect, you want to make a trade, you want to place a trade. When the shorter of the two moving averages intersects and crosses the other moving average, that's when you want to buy. Likewise, when the, the longer of the two moving averages, if, say this were below, let me see if I have one of those. Okay, so here it's below. When it, when it goes and hits the other moving average and then goes above it, at about this point, you want to sell that Forex pair. So you click sell and that will place your trade. Um, now I've been trying this for a while and it does seem profitable. The studies have shown that yes, statistically it is profitable. But there's a caveat, they didn't look at all of the currency pairs, they looked at the main ones. And they also only looked at time periods that were uh, popular for trading these currency pairs. So they didn't trade 24 hours a day, they only traded during the, the roughly 8 hour period in which those were traded. And they found that that, sec that uh, strategy was successful. Um, I believe that actually you can improve the strategy a bit by making that prediction, making the prediction that they will cross. So you see here how the, the distance between the shorter moving average and the longer moving average is quite large. And then it 
starts to narrow in. Once it narrows in, maybe around here, once you believe that actually it's going to cross, that's when you make the trade instead of waiting until it actually passes. Of course, um, what we're talking about is my theory versus a statistically based study. But the idea is if, if you're right and your prediction is correct, you can probably get in at a better number and make more money that way. So that's really up to you. But if you just want to stick with a statistically significant trading strategy that's also easy to play, then you wait until these cross. So at this point, you see they cross the, the again, that's the longer of the two. That's a 12-hour line. As the 12-hour line crosses, you would sell here. Now, you'd lose money in this case. But overall, at this point when they cross, you can see the uh, price actually started to be dropped. And these might be kind of black swan events, especially here where it jumps up so high. Um, but what I did was I I didn't actually make the trade here. I made it way back there when the lines uh, crossed the other way. I took I basically watched them until they crossed. I made the trade. I took a nap because I'm a tired young boy. Um, and I woke up and I saw that, yes, it was profitable. And I've been doing this for about a week now. So this is a profitable trading strategy. If you're just getting into Forex, you might, might want to try this out. Obviously, don't put a lot of money into it until you see it working for yourself. And again, if you don't want to just simply rely on a academic journal study, you might want to see them closing in and then make a prediction there. So look at the New Zealand one. Again, you see it's pretty wide and it starts to narrow in. Um, then at some point around here, the 12 hour moving average crossed over so you would sell at about that point. So you'd sell here and now the price would drop down to here you can you make some money. Alright, so that's basically the simplest strategy of profitably trading Forex that I found through academic journals. If you guys have interest in more complex trading strategies, just leave me a comment below and I'll look into it. As you know, all of my Trading strategies are backed by hard facts. I'm not a, you know, go to Investopedia and see what's cool and popular. I may look into the academic journals, find out what really works, what works in the long run, uh, what is backed by statistics, and then place trades based on that. And that's all of what my newsletter does as well. So again, I'm not a Forex trader. Don't, don't take my word as a, uh, expert's opinion. But take my word as a statistician, a person who understands that if you really want to make money trading, you're going to have to make a lot of trades. You're going to have to do it based on volume. And you're going to have to have a system that's reliable in the long term for making the profits you wish to make. So that's it for today. If you've got any more questions about how to open a Forex account or how to trade Forex, you can leave it below. I'm not really big on talking about Forex. I prefer talking about stock options and stock itself. So I'm probably not going to make a lot of Forex videos in the future. But this was more a uh, response to some questions I've been asked. So again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe. Please also look at my other trading info. I have a free gap guide that you can download from my website. And send me an email if you've got a question.